Oh, that's right. Ah, I have to get something here. Oh, that's the jar. Hello, everybody. I'm ill repair prepared, y'all. Daydreaming on the job, guys. Daydreaming on the job. That's what I'm doing. Daydreaming on the job. There it is. Alright. And... getting everything out guys <laughs> how are you I mean we're gonna make a pie letter I got asked a few weeks ago I think it was like two weeks ago hello Therese hi Tina hi Kathleen to make a pocket letter because we have not a, a person I don't exactly remember who, and I feel bad. Um, who didn't know what a pocket letter was? So, I'll do the pack. Well, I don't need that one. I'll leave it out. I have to do the pocket letter for Happy Mail Swap here. Howdy, howdy, Beth Laney. I figured I'd do it online. I'm going to bring you guys down in a second, though. But I'll show you what I'm going to use. Because I had a hard time finding donut paper. I have a little bit of donut paper left over from the last time but I have this right here and I changed it from um, donut sweet th themed and ice creams to me sweet candies to me sweet so this one's got a little mixture of everything donuts cookies candy so we're gonna use this and I have a whole mess load of stickers that have like ice cream like this one <gasps> Ooh, of course, and I don't have no money until Friday. Well, good luck, Kathleen, if you find any. You have to do a video and let me know. So I have like this, and there's fruit in here, and there's... Why did I grab this? Oh, cupcakes. <laughs> like this has a little donut. This one has a cupcake and a little ice cream. Like this one has ice cream. Donuts, little donuts, donuts, and ice cream. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. Why I bought three, I don't know. Hi, Linda. And these ice cream. So I'm going to make one that's pretty themed about ice cream, candy, and donut. Pocket letter. And of course, I got this new punch I got when Hobby Lobby had their all their stuff with the donut. We're going to make one of them. Plus, I have this which is a donut stamp set also. So we're going to use it all. First thing we got to do is cut the paper. And we'll get going on the rest. And of course I use my Sizzix. That's what you're doing Tina. It's making yours too. And I do have, and I just have to figure out where I put it. I bought this, I don't know where I put it. Um, oh, and I have these, and I laugh because I'm not sending it back to Tina, but I will use the other one. She sent the kids this, or sent this in a friend mail, it is a donut, and I got Tina as a partner, so she'll go and get the brown one. I'm going to put this on as a tassel, so she gets that. <laughs> I'm not going to send back the one she sent me, <laughs> to, you know, because I just like... I use some of the stuff you all send me for other projects, and I think that's everybody does that. But I did buy these little brads that are uh, has donuts in, and at the moment I can't find it. So let's get the paper cut out first, and I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't need to see them on my floor right now. That, um, I'm going to put a pink back 
I'm going to double do this one. I'm just seeing if I have them done here. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, I hope I didn't misplace them somewhere where I'll never find them. paper I'm using, okay, sorry, I was looking for the brads, is double-sided. It was plain colors. So I don't have to worry about doing the back side of it like I would usually. So, let's put you down. Guys, getting any snow? I'm getting snow, guys. I'm really getting snow. It's snowing. So, we're supposed to get nine inches. It's supposed to. I don't know it's how long it's going to last, I don't know. I didn't pay any attention. I just know we're supposed to get nine inches. But it is kind of windy. It's gonna rain. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. How are you? And, did you guys notice my glasses? I have my glasses, guys. I just subbed you, Michael. Where's Waldo, part two, part one, part three? I'll have to watch that. <laughs> um, I took some nail polish. Some nail polish. And some clear polish because it's autism month and last night was lighted up blue so I'm doing this in honor of my friend Brandy's son Corey I looked for a month for blue glasses or anything you know they had breast pet breast cancer glasses I have them um, I could not find anything that represented autism so I painted my own and I did that last night. Her laugh is my news. Oh, I'm getting a little blue on my nose. I still get a blue on my nose. I said to Brandy, I should have left maybe the center not blue because I keep getting blue. It looks like somebody gave me a shiner. <laughs> but it's not. I have no, no black eye. But I'm wearing them to honor all autisms. Autism awareness. So, if I remember, I will be uh, wearing these through the whole month of May or April. So, I will bring the camera back down so you all can be aware of autism. And we'll get started on this pocket letter. Yeah. Well, it has this, okay, how do I put this? It has, I don't have any autism in my family. Um, but I knew a little boy in my neighborhood who did. And he, uh, I don't know his stage, you know, I didn't ask his parents, but he was obsessed with my dog. Once we got a dog, he, they had alarms on his their house, so if he got out, the alarm would, up, would go off. And um, he'd sneak out to get go see my dog. And I'd be like, Aaron, does Mommy and Daddy know you're here? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was a repeater. Well, they finally got a dog because his therapist said maybe a, him having a dog was a good idea. So, But he still had to come down to see my dog. Aaron is 26 years old and doing good. He has a job. He went to college. And Diamond is just, he tells everybody when they were in high school, because I told Diamond, anybody picks on Aaron, you beat their ass. She's like, yes, Mom. And all I didn't raise my kids knew. And he'll tell you to this day, Diamond was his best friend in high school. They'd walk to school together and all that good stuff. And she said she just seen him. Not too long ago, and he's doing great. So it's cool. So, but with Z or with Xavier, with Coda Bear, hello Sheree, he has sensory issues, and it's loud places. He does not like Walmart at all. He'll go to Walmart, but it has to be quick. Usually, if Diamond and Sam have a full-blown gro grocery shop and go to Walmart, you know, a lot of places. 
Coda comes by me because he he gets all jitterish and all that. And he doesn't like loud noises. I have to put earplugs on him if I vacuum in my house. So, there's little, I, I said, I call him ticks, I guess. We don't know if he's, and he has a speech problem. So right now he's only four, four and a half going on five. So they uh, are wait, they're going to be evaluating him to see if he has some form of autism. But it's hard to believe you look at my grandson. You know what? I, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Brandy's been very educational to teach me things. Ask this, you know, tell her to ask this, tell her to get, you know. And Diamond actually is writing it down, so I'm really proud of her. And I told her, I said, Diamond, it doesn't hurt to ask these questions. Brandy said to ask this, to look for this, you know. And Brandy's been very good about it. So, to bring awareness, I'm wearing the glasses. Hello, Cherie. And I'm out of Pepsi, and I'm refusing to walk outside to the gas station to go get me a 12-pack of Pepsi because of the snow. So I'm drinking hot chocolate co cocoa. I should say hot chocolate coffee cocoa. Because <laughs> I mix, mix my hot chocolate with, my, with coffee. It's weird. Yeah, there is, and that's what Brandy told me. You know, like, like I'm not, I've never ran in this. My son had uh, ADD, you know, and learning disabilities and dyslexia. So, and I see a lot of my son in Coda. I notice things right off the bat, but I never ran into the light sen or it's light sensory. He cannot be in a dark room. The noise. Crowds, you know, those are different things. His speech, speech is a hard one. They told me when we were at the doctor's, and you know, and I go to the doctor with Diamond. I'm like, Diamond, I said, Diamond, don't mind me if I ask questions. She never has, and she's like, because she says I'll think of a question she won't think, so I'll ask. And the doctor said straight up, speech is a hard one to determine if it's an issue that will fall, that he may have, or a thing that he may outgrow. You know, with counseling or with therapy. And he's got speech therapy, but it seems like, and I told Diamond, we're getting on this, she said, this year. Because he was doing really good, and then he had to break for summer, and then you swear he started. And we would work through him all, all the summer, make him repeat his words and everything, but we think when he had a mouth surgery, he had, he had to have some surgery in his mouth, on his teeth, that something got messed up with his speech because of that. So, we don't know. So, that's where we are with that. But, shall we get started on the pocket letter, guys? I'm reading all your comments. Yeah, I know there's so many spectrums. That's what Brandy told me. I didn't realize how many until Brandy was telling me one night when we were talking. I was like, wow. Yep. Each one of them are very talented. Everybody's talented. But, um, Aaron, he, thing was Christmas villages. He's obsessed, obsessed with Christmas villages. I had a garage sale, and I was selling, I had the kids go through my mom's Christmas villages. You have to understand, my mom had over 400 Christmas villages. And I was like, I am not keeping all these. So, Diamond picked some, Xavier picked some, I picked a few, and then I decided to sell them for $2 a piece just to get, get them gone. Yeah, holy moly. Yeah. Well, Aaron kept buying them. He'd run home, he'd buy, he'd buy one, he'd come back, he kept doing it all day. I finally said to Diamond, I'd be right back. So I walked down, because I was like, his parents are going to kick my butt that I'm letting this kid keep buying these villages. So, and he was the only one buying them. So, I walked down and I told his dad, I said, Aaron keeps buying Christmas villages. I said, do you realize that? Oh, yeah, I know. He goes, you want to see? So, we go down in his basement. They dedicated one half of their basement for Aaron. He, like, size up ping pong tables they had set up. And he would, he changes them. He was in his glory. And I looked at, 
I came back and I sat by them and I said, you know what? We're giving Erin my mom's villages. And she, we're going to get them. She goes, why? I said, you, have you ever seen Erin's villages? She's like, no. I said, I think Grandma, probably if she was, because my mom was going to start eliminating stuff too because she was going to retire and live in a camper. I said, and they were all at my house when she passed away. Storage. And I said, I think if Grandma was here today and she saw that young man's basement, she'd give them to him too. She's like, okay. So after that day, the first sale, I didn't even, that, the, that was Friday. I was having Friday and Saturday sale. That night, I packed them all up and I walked, we walked them down and we gave them all to Aaron. And I think he'd have more pleasure out of them than somebody that would buy them. And it, his dad wanted to pay me and I'm like, nope, this is a gift from my mom. And he's, he was just, you could just see the joy. Because I was watching him that day at that table going, trying to figure out, you know, he's counting his money. And I'm like, Aaron, I said, you can have them for a dollar, dollar each. And I was like, 50 cents each. So, you know, because I was dealing, because it was Aaron. And, but then I was thinking, all his parents, because, you know, your kids come to the grad sale and they buy some stuff and their parents are like, what the hell were you thinking? Why did she, like, you know, I didn't know. <laughs> But he still has them. Because Diamond asked him, you still have all your villages? Oh yeah, he says, I still do it. And it's villages, Christmas villages. And the only thing they can think about is that his grandma passed away and she, he was always obsessed with her villages when she put them out at Christmas. And when she passed away, they gave Erin her villages. And it just kind of grew. So... Alrighty, I got off track, but, er, you know, I think my mom would have did it too. Yeah, I think a lot. What would my mom do? My mom would have gave them to him. You know, should have been right on that. Should have probably been down in his basement. But, Let's move it here. Let's do this. I could just, I told, I told Aaron's dad, Dave, that once. I said, if my mom was here, she'd be down there with them. <laughs> this is going to be the candy candy donut or sweet candy donut theme pocket letter I have to make for our swap here yeah. um I have the new swap up everybody for next month or this month in May if you guys are interested it is a flip book your choice swap for so you know if you're interested go sign up I'm having fun with these swaps I think people are having swap fun with them it's in uh, it's probably on my channel page right now but it, my swaps are always 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 in my playlist and it's a flip book it has to be three flips and three pockets and at least five by five I think you know that should be plenty big and easy to mail it shouldn't cost that much you have to include like the paper clip stickers inside the pockets it's a very easy one your choice your design your colors whatever you choose because I thought, hey, let's change it up. We've done pocket letters for a while. Let's change it up and make something different. And the next one I got for after May, everybody, buy a paintbrush. Nah, that's going to be the next one. Not the regular paintbrush. Like a paintbrush for walls. You know, the ones that are like like this size. I'll get, I'll get one. I thought of this today because it fell. It fell. And I had to pick it up. So this is gonna be. Oh, come on now! I got you back up on the wall. You can't get. I can't get you off. Come on. Uh -huh. Um. In May, after I sign names for the uh, pot or May swap, which it's actually April's, but you mail you mail in May, okay? So I will after I sign names for this flipbook swap. I will put the next swap up and it's going to be altered paintbrushes crafty lady did this for me so this will be our next swap everybody so when you're on and about and you want to do this pick up a painter's paintbrush any size so that will be May's swap I'm giving you a, a little heads up altered paintbrush I think that would be cool 
and it'll fit. Yeah, and it'll fit in this size envelope, guys. Cause I tested. <laughs> It fit in this size envelope. Boom. So it would probably cost about three, maybe three fifty in the mail. So, and I will have like because I always like included like like something like this. I'll probably do. I might just put this up too. I don't know. Should we do it? Should I do it right away or should I wait? What do you guys think? I could put that that swap up right away too. Wait, okay, I'll wait. Yeah, with that one, I'm gonna figure out exactly what else to put. I'm thinking a homemade card. Yeah, do you input that counts? I enjoy hosting them and all that. So, but it's you guys have to do them. Yeah, so it'd be June. You'd mail it in June, the end of May. Actually, yeah, I'd sign it. The new swap, the 31st of April, and you, no, no, I'd do, I'd, I'd, I'd sign you up for me, and you'd mail out the, f the end of, or beginning of June. I'll figure it out later. Yeah. But I thought, what a cute idea. You know, something simple. Change it up instead of always pocket letters, like this month's flipbook, paintbrush next month. Uh, and then I'll come up with something else. I'm also... My glasses are sticking to my nose. I <laughs> said blue. <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> I look weird because they feel like they're sticking. So that one's June's. Is going to be the Ultra Paintbrush. Can you believe I'm already talking June? Hey, but I plan ahead. <laughs> Did you think about the... Yep. Thank you, Beth. Did you think about the Zy swap? What? Zine swap? Okay, Linda, what? What's a Zine swap? <laughs> I say about Alter Mirror swap, but you know, the mirror part. Mm. I have no idea. I don't know what she's talking about. Magazine thought swap? Huh. Like magazine? Magazine. No, I didn't think of that one. Never heard of it. You have to explain. Little flipbooks made out of 8x5 paper. Yeah. Oh. Like little flips made out of 8.5 by 11 paper. It your flip book can be any size you want, as long as it's five or five by five. I'll do YouTube that. <laughs> okay. No, I never even heard of that. I'm gonna write that down. Zines. Z I N. In their flip book. Hmm. Interesting. See, you're keeping me guys well informed, eh? Alrighty. <clears throat> the tome thing has me f puzzled. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Now you got me curious. Where's my phone? <laughs> okay. You got. Oh, who messaged me? I was, uh, wow, I've been popular today. Two. 
Sorry guys, I got a moist mail. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to look up this video. It's got me curious. But I'm going to use my phone because your comments are in there. So, Z I N E S. How to make a zine from one piece of printer paper. It's time to learn. So Zine making. All you need is one single piece of printer paper, eight and a half by eleven inches. With this, you can make an eight-page zine. Believe it or not. So, how do you ask? It starts with fold. Fold the paper, hot dog way. Open it back up. Oh, that hot dog was so good, but I'm really hungry for a hamburger now. Good thing I made a barbecue. Now, it gets a little trickier for you. you got to fold in the sides to that center line you've just created with your hamburger fold. Open everything back up. And one more time with the hamburger fold. Now we're going to take our friends the scissors and cut a little slit on the folded edge right to the middle. Open it back up. Saying hello to our friend the hot dog one more time. Stand it up on its end and squish it together. Oh. Fold all the pages together. And you have the skeleton of your eight page scene. Now it's time to draw. For drawing, you well, that's kind of easy. And make sure you have a solid idea of which pages are which. Let's make a zine about shoes. Zine making is awesome stuff. Zine making is awesome stuff. Zine making is awesome stuff. It's kind of small. Once you're done drawing, whatever you want, truly, literally. Anything you want. That's the beauty of a zine. All you gotta do is prop it back up again, squish it in the middle, and close it up. Hi, Jan. The front cover is in the front. Then you can flip through. Shoes are a good thing to have. They help you walk on stuff. I think I'd make mine out of a 12 by 12. Shoes come in different colors. Hi, Debbie. They also come in many different shapes. That's interesting. We might have to do that one. Sounds crazy, but it's it's like one size. He's paper. The size. But it's tiny. I'd probably do a 12 by 12. I was watching how to make a zine. Is that how it is? Um, how to make a zine from one piece of pa printer paper. It's a little book. Yep. I just was informed from. Dayton's grandma <laughs> about it. I didn't know about it. She's so I was like, what? So now I know. But we're gonna work on a pocket letter here in a second. Getting stuff ready. I'm 
mine's really going to be a little bit about this and a little, little, little about that. And a little bit. So. I have all the paper I want at the middle. And I'm going to try to see if I can get how many donuts I can get. Oh, okay. I can get at least two donuts here. Donuts there, one there, and one there. Okay, so we're gonna start making a pocket letter. You guys ready? Or do you wanna sit here and chit chat? Do you, huh? I'm having fun chit chatting here, guys. It's having chit chatting time. Learn something new every day, guys. Oh, man. Wow, I never seen. I gotta get different. <coughs> Do any of you guys catch me our live video on Brandy's channel last night with Bon? It's Bon. Made his alt altered mirrors. You were at the library. We had fun doing it. It's a good live video. It's too bad we couldn't get Kathy in like we planned on. For some reason, we have to figure out what's up with that. Yeah, yeah. crochet group. So what did Crow say last night? You making fun of me, Tina? <laughs> you making fun of us? Hey, I figure if you can't laugh at yourself, then you shouldn't be doing it. You know, I always say try to laugh at yourself. Ah, lap blanket. How nice. That's cool. I could use that right now. It's kind of cold up here. Snowy. So over the winter. <laughs> I know, I was just kidding. It was fun. We had fun last night. We always have fun when we're four of us, five of us. Ah, uh, okay. You know, it's a good group. We have a good group. Yep. Yeah, we're getting snow. We have a good group of people that come on our lives. We have fun. It's fun that we got Mars in there.
just getting a paper cut out. And then I'll build. I'll build from there. They are fun to do. I like doing pocket letters. Yeah. So I changed it up a little bit. Instead of doing a pocket letter every month, so I did a flip book for next month's swap. This one's donut themed or sweet themed. And I had a hard time finding donut paper. And, uh, oh wow. That's cool. So, and so I wasn't the only one. So, we, I changed it to sweet themed as well. So you can do sweets as well as donuts. I'm doing a little bit of both, mainly sweets. Because I'm more sweets than I have donut paper. That's cool. I had a Jane, Jane, John Wayne one once. Because I love John Wayne. And I could go look to see who made it. But I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. And I love all, I mean, I love all my pocket letters. But there's a few that, you know, just stand out. Like the John Wayne. That's awesome. I was just like, awesome. I'd have never thought of making a John Wayne pocket letter. I've done Disney. Yep, Kim Chid, she changed her name the other day. So did New Dawn Art, and I can't click on it. Every time I see it, I'm like, who is that? And then, it, and then a few minutes later, it clicks, it's New Dawn Art. Alright, see you later. Have a good evening.
Well, no. I just painted them for autism, autism awareness. I painted them with blue fingernail polish. Because it was lighted up blue for autism yesterday, and it's autism awareness month. And I'm doing it for all autism people, but especially Brandy's son, Corey. Brandy has educated me a lot, a lot in autism since I've met her. <laughs> yep, support the cause. Light it up blue. I need to get a pink I'm gonna sorry, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe not. <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna sneeze. This is what I have so far. And I'm just going to make it yummy. I'll be right back. I think somebody's in my driveway.
Sorry about that. Some idiot ran the yield sign in front of my house and slid it almost up into my yard. And then I was watching to see what he was going to do. But they were able to reverse and take off. Alrighty. So. Uh, this is what it looks like so far. I'm done. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, Don. Yeah, I got to get a stamp so I can send out, hello Andrea, so I can send out uh, your uh, postcard. I feel like I'm off centered. There we go. Let me turn you guys just a hair. There we go. That's better. Trying to get the right angle. I'm glad I picked this donut. Well, I should tape up when I seen it. That was not smart of me to. I gotta put the whole thing first. Yeah, I'm ahead of myself here, guys. Yeah, it's for my it's for my swap. And there was one of my subbies didn't know what a pocket letter was, so I said I'd do a video. So here I am doing the video, so they could see what a pocket letter consists of. And all the pocket letter, if anybody out there that does not know, it's a baseball sheath. People put baseball cards in them. Kids do. That's all it is. So I got asked that too. So that's what it is. It's just a holder for baseball cards. I find them in the sports section at Walmart. Also. Yummy. Yummy for an idea for July. Oh, I just ripped this washi tape. But I won't get rid of it. I gotta get comfortable. There we go. That's better. What well, winter theme or summer? I, oh, yummy themed? Yummy? I was thinking barbecue.
I want to do plenty of stickles, plenty of ice cream stickles, and cupcakes. But I want to start with really. Holy shit. Whoops, sorry. I'm reading it now. Four wounded and shooting on four wounded in shooting at YouTube headquarters in San Bernardino. Police say female suspect is dead. Please at least four people were injured, one of them critical in shooting at YouTube headquarters in San Bernardino, California on Tuesday afternoon. The police said the shooter, who the police said was a woman, died from apparently self-inflicted gun wounds. Brent Andrew, a spokesman for San Francisco General Hospital, said news conference that the hospital had received three patients, a 36-year-old man in critical condition, a 32-year-old woman in serious condition, 27-year-old woman with fair conditions. The conditions of the first victim and what hospital he or she is at was not clear. Outside the YouTube headquarters, armed police officers waded into a crowd of 200 or so employees who had evacuated the near, to the nearby parking lot. The police asked for employees who had witnessed some firsthand to come forward. And about two dozen people, some visibly distraught, walked over to the officers. Many of the employees said they had initially thought the episode was a fire drill. Others said they ran when people started shouting and they were, there was a shooter. Something, somebody vanned in the something. Active shooter at YouTube headquarters. Heard shots, saw people running well at my desk. Damn. It doesn't say why or who she is or anything. Damn. Wow. Well, there go. I didn't think YouTube would be that hard to work for. Yeah. Very sad. <sighs> it is. And we begin this oh, there we go. Oh, am I unmuted? Nope, I'm good. It is sad. And he, he, it's like, why? All right. I'm not liking my theme I got going on, guys. <laughs> That's what I got so far. Um, and I don't, I have this one, but I think it'll look odd. Because I was going to do the four corners. But I think it'll look odd. I'm not liking it. I'm liking these, but I'm not liking the candy. 
Ay, ay, ay. See, that's about I get. I get to a point where I don't like what I'm seeing. I wonder how many I can get out of this paper. Let me see. Where is that? <laughs> How do you do about doing a swap? If you, um, if you go to my regular videos, I have a swap right up right now. It is a flipbook swap. You just count, say count me in, and then on a certain day of the month, I will sign who you send to, and you swap addresses, and you send it out to each other. If you're interested, Patricia. It's really easy. But you have to be committed because I have a naughty list. If you sign up and you don't follow through, I won't let you on another swap. I check to make sure that nobody's blanked out. Never done a flip book, Don? Flip books are easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> do I need to do a tutorial? I'm going to have to do a material. Okay, you ladies got to sign up. Because I will do a tutorial on a flip book one so you guys can see. So everybody wants me to do a tutorial on a flip book? Okay. Are you going to sign up after I do the tutorial? I do mine a lot different than a lot of people, though. I've done them with paper bags. I've done them with envelopes. I've done them with paper. Holy moly. Wow. Holy moly. What am I doing here doing a pocket ladder then? <laughs> that I'm not liking. I'm really not liking this pocket ladder. See, I have another piece of paper that has donuts on. I can't find it. So you know what? I think I'm just going to put this aside. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Make sure I don't lose nothing. Alright. I'll get my binder, ladies. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. See, I'm not going to be able to finish my pocket liner anyways. Because i got about 20 minutes and I have to get off. So, you know what? I'm going to bring you up and we'll just chat. But you basically saw a pocket liner. You just cut little pieces. You put them in the sleeve. Patricia, were you the one that asked me to show you how to do a pocket letter? Because all I did, I have a die that I cut the insides. All this is, is a, no, okay. All this is, is a sleeve for baseball cards. The kids' baseball cards. And you just cut the paper to fit inside the sleeves and you decorate each little pocket up. And then usually some people put the goodies, whatever they're sending them, in the back. I don't do that anymore. I decorate my back just with some stickers and miscellaneous because it's the main one in front that I'm really worried about decorating. That's how I do my pocket letter. I'm not liking the theme. I don't know. It's not catching me right now. I might do something else. Who knows? So, now, for the flip book. For the flip book, okay. Alright, for the flip book, this one up. it must be at least five by five, three folds, um, three in three pockets inside. I will get a couple flip books that I have been sent and I have made. Just hang on ladies, I have to get to the drawer.
for a flip book. Here's one I made. And it's been sitting here. <laughs> it's low. And this one folds like this, and then this. And then I do both sides. I decorate everything. This is one of my first I've ever done. And I've hung on to it. Why, I don't know. I have no idea. But, as you can see, all it is... And I... Because I've had ones where they I've got them and they fell apart. And then there's this one. Is... They did it like this. This is a three-fold one. And they did a little... And then... There's this type that are narrow. And as you can see, I pretty much leave everything in it. Cardboard flip. I made mine out of just 12 by 12 paper pad. 12 by 12 paper or the cardstock, I should say, or eight, eight, you know, any cardstock. Like this one, this is another one you could do. This is really simple. All they did here is, is they cut the paper, and they little put, put little pockets, and this, ready, is a paper bag. This is really easy. I'm going to show you real quick how to do this, this bag. You have the bag. You fold the bag over. I'm going to put you down. I decorate after, okay? You take the little little bags from the little, little leg. I call them these little lunch bags. Little lunch bag, fold it in half, like so. Now, you have a pocket here, and you have a little pocket here, and you just kind of like glue on the sides and you make a pocket. Now, you take another one, do the same thing. Fold it in half. Take the side that does not have the little pocket, if you want, it doesn't matter. And you just kind of put these together like so. And then you have a look. And you can do another one. Okay, if you guys want to do this. <laughs> and you want put new if that's the case like newbie uh, and do a flip book I can I'll do something but it, it's really easy five by five because this right now I believe yep five by five and a half yes I'm doing a flip book swap teen I just put it up a little while ago Ask Tina, flip books aren't that hard to do. And then you go like this. And then you get, boom. So, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, guys. No, I can, you can use Velcro, you can use a belly band, I don't have a belly band one up here, or do that, I'm going to do that, yeah, um, so, fairly easy, so, let me get my glue, we're going to do this, yeah, you can Mod Podge, you can almost do anything. This is going to be a month long, guys, so you got a month. I haven't signed partners until the 31st of April. 
You don't have to, or, oh, it's right in front of me. 30th of April. You don't have to have it mailed out till the 31st of May. So you have plenty of time to watch a lot of tutorials on making flip books. <laughs> but this is just a paper bag one. Now with, okay, I'm gonna use for example, this paper pad, okay? Cause it's handy. Take two of the same size, if you've got 12, six by six paper, easy peasy. Take it, the paper, tape with some good tape, sturdy tape, duct tape, I got clear tape, tape in the middle, fold it back so it lines up, take another one, tape again, and you have a book, and then you can just flip. And then you just make pockets. Yep. Yeah, it's it's they're fairly they're fairly easy to make. I will do a tour. I think I have a tutorial. I'll have to look. If I I think I did a tutorial on a flip book. I'm not sure. If I did, I will put it in the comments on the uh so or the swap page. Either way, if I didn't one, didn't do it, I'll do a tutorial. Probably tonight. Because right now I'm sucking at this pocket letter for Tina. Hi, Tina. I'm not liking the pocket letter I'm making for you. I don't like it. I... <laughs> so, I have not seen it in my head. So I was like, okay, enough. But I could do a tutorial. And it's because I can't find po proper paper. You have a trouble too? Yeah, I am too. This is all mine starting to look like and I'm just not liking it. I am not liking it. I'm not liking the paper because I can't find the paper. So I may make my own paper. Yeah, like this one is just a little paper bag. And what I think she did here, because she has staples coming down. I think she just, what she did is all she did. And that's alright because to me it's classified a flip book. And she just did... She folded them all in half, decorated them, and stapled them. And, may, and then you had the little pockets for goodies. You at least have to have three pockets, ladies. So you can stick a little goodie in. That's up. And so she had the three. This one has two. But she also had pockets inside. So this is an easy one. Because it's all just paper inside paper. And I would change this up a little bit, though. I'd be like, okay, we'll fold this one this way. I'll do this one too. So we got a pocket on the outside here. But like here's the pocket. So I would put this paper this way. No, this, yeah, right here. See right here, you can do like this. And here it is, a pocket too. Paper clips, stickers, homemade tags, whatever you choose. Just a little bit of goodies. You don't have to go way overboard. You know, like these homemade little paper clips people make. I am upping my game, guys. Just letting you know. You're upping your game. Don't show me up on this pocket letter, Tina. I mean it, girl! Because this whole donut pocket theme was so excited to me and now I can't find paper. <laughs> but I've been saving a sticker sheet I bought for you a long time ago to send. I was so happy I got you as a partner. I was like, I've been hanging on to this thing I bought at the Dollar Tree for you for at least two months. And I was like, oh, cool, I can send it to starting over, Tina. And I just found it and refound it because I lost it in my stickers. And I found it because I purposely looked. I'm like, I'm going to find that sticker so I bought for her. When I saw it, I thought of you. But there, it's easy. Oh, see, I'm uncomfortable again. Yeah, I like, I like, if I do like the paper bag one, I cover it with cardstock. Do you have to decorate the paper bag, ladies? You know, just take cardstock 
And I've done it both ways, okay? This where I've took the cardstock and I did it first before I glued. But if you're gonna glue like this and you use a paper bag, glue the paper bag first, then decorate. No, I did not. Tina did tags. Ooh, I'll have to go watch. That's gonna be the next one of our swaps. I mean, like, well, here it is. Here's a belly band. Oop, where she held it with a belly band. And so basically, and she used, and I think, see how this one is? She took one piece of paper and did it three ways, and then added things to it. No, there's no way she took one piece of paper. But it's it's fairly easy. I mean, here's an example: a little tag she had tucked in there. a little envelope. Any style, your choice, whatever you want to decorate it is. However you choose. On the flip book, yep. Yep. Any style, any pattern paper, whatever you choose. So it's like I said, you got plenty of time to watch some videos and where are these coming from? And decorate it but I will look. I'm pretty sure I have a video of the book. <laughs> a month or so. It, it, it does. It's not that hard. Like I did like this one. This is my very first one done. Very first one I ever made. That's why I kept it. What I did is I took a six, a regular paper pad. Okay. Let's see. I took a regular paper pad like this. Tina, you want Dawn? And I just took... Oh, that's pretty. And all I did is take the piece of paper. Now, this ain't double-sided. So, what I would do is... I'll take this one. And I'd get the paper double-sided. Make it double-sided, okay? you never did a, did a flip book. So I got the double sided paper and I'm doing this temporarily. I may use this, I don't know. And let's see, I'll do beans. Bees. And I'll take this one. So I got them all double sided. Put you down. Temporary, guys. I am not keeping this. But I'm not going to use both pieces of paper, all four right now. I'm just going to show you how easy it is. I don't use washi to do my center. I usually take scotch tape and then I go over it. Where's that piece of... What happened to... That... No, oh, I don't know what... Okay. But... And I go like this. And I line it up with... I'd be doing scotch tape first. And I make it as even as possible. And I'd put, all right, that's it. You guys are driving me crazy. Oh, I'm going to make one.
Now you got me going. Hello, Denise. This paper is double-sided, so you know what I do. I would do personally. I don't think I. I mean, it's double-sided color, so I don't think I'm going to actually make it double-sided. You know what I'm saying? I'll just add a printed like piece two of this. So we're gonna start with my sketch tape. Here's your tutorial, Don. Are you ready? So I want, I got plain side, printed side. I want it to flip the opposite. So I'm going to do one print, one plain. And I'm going to take the scotch tape and I take, this is how I do mine. Everybody does them different, but this is how I do mine. The reason I use scotch tape is I think scotch tape holds it together a little bit better than washi at first I'll go back and I will washi or duct tape right there that's my opinion and then I come back again tape I put together and I decorate after And then I make sure it folds. Now I got it started. So now I got print on the outside. This would be my outside. And you can decorate the outside as you want. Then you flip and it's plain. And then I'll just take a printed and I'll make a pocket and I'll decorate it. So we're just setting up right now. So we got printed. I'm going to see... Okay, we'll do this one. That looks good. Line her up again. I might have to change the title of this video. And then you fold. Fold. Now this is one. Two. So I need another flip. So well, let's see. I got so this is the it, this is the outside. So when you open it, you're gonna open it like this, and you see plain color printed, printed plain. So now I'll do a printed. What print do I want to use? Ooh. We're going with butterflies. Maybe. That looks odd. What's it look like? Okay. Yeah. Everybody does them this way. This is the way I do mine.
and I cut and I trim like so and I fold and you can also if you wanted to fold this back this way it doesn't matter what type of fold you do because I could have it open like this but I find it more interesting so that is the inside this is the outside so it's easy so now we got to fold it boom 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 and then of course you could just do it the scotch tape I may come in with some washi tape that kind of coincides are solid colors now here let's take let's see what I got I'm not gonna cut this all up guys let's say I'll take this and I'll cut and I can make a pocket add some trim stick some goodies in maybe do a tag or flip like the, here's another way you guys I'll show you another one this is a good we'll do it this way We're going to put this one like this. This one's a little tricky. Yep. Three pockets. I'm going to put the tape... Oh, don't move on me. Don't move me. I'm going to put the tape down. And I'm just going to get to the edge of the middle piece. And cut it. I have to go unlock the door for my hubby. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I got to lock the door. Alright. And then I tape. Like that. Just to the edge again. And you can flip this down. Flip it in. Then, you know, you could decorate the front. Say, I'll put a big flower or something here and then add a pocket with a print on because, you know, it's plain. So I can add a pocket and decorate maybe the top of it. Then flip this up and you can decorate a little bit here. And three, at least three flips. So right now I got this is the this is the first flip and then this would be a second flip and this would be a third flip in my opinion. So basically it's one, two, three, four pieces of paper. I do mine flat. It's cheaper to send them flat. Oh, my son-in-law's on here. Oh, hello, Samuel. I put mine in a bit. Uh, when I send my pocket letters out, I send them like this. Because if it's flatter, it's not classified bulk. If you put your pocket letters in like a business size envelope, they don't classify it the same. They classify it as bulk letter. So it's different. So if you put your pocket letters in this, it's cheaper to send it any like this. Just like when you send out stamp images, if you're going to stamp them out, don't cut them out. Put them in an envelope like this. It's cheaper to mail it. So 
So that's how you do a flip book, guys. Was that easy? Look, it's easy. And you just like, let me give you an example. Like here. See how they got the different little sections? They just have little pockets here and there. Little envelopes. I won't be signing partners for the flip book until the 30th of April. So there's plenty of time to watch videos, to make up your mind, to practice. Oh, let's see. I wish, and look at, here's a Christmas one. It's so cute. She back rolled this flap. And then you can add a flap too if you want. That's separate. She got it so you can, little pocket here. Little pockets. Little envelopes. It's real cute. Um, where's mine? Mine, here's the, my first one I made. Oh, whatever, Tina. I read that, I'm like, what? There's probably one in my drawer from you. <laughs> I'm cutting my paper where I scotch taped it, so. So I can put it back in my book. The one I made, and this is my, like I said, my very first one I've ever did. I hung on to it. I have, okay, how's this? I have to remember how it opens. Boom. I kind of got carried away on it. This one's pretty bulky. But I don't even remember how it opens. <laughs> That's funny. I think it opens like this. There. Opens like this. This is my front. Yeah, you can make them from envelopes, anything. This is my front, and as you can see, I have like a pocket. And I got tags in here stuck. A little paper clip stuck here and there. Then it opens, and then I got a little envelope. And I got this little paper clip here. And you just put a little paper bag with butterflies. So I'm gonna, then you open it, and I got this little fence with a cow and an owl. And I got a little sticky notepad stuck in here. A little bling heart. I made this little tag with a cow on top. And then I have a tag. I mean, I overdid the. Let's say this news. Butterfly on top. Just little tags. Washi sample. Yes, please sub to each other. Here I did it. Flips up. This tag flips up. And then I have a little pocket. And it's some more tags. And I decorated the top of the with the bird. I got a paper clip here. Got some a bigger tag in a pocket. I got birds on top of these tags. See? It's really easy. I mean it's and then on this side I have I did have a pocket here. Which I just got a paper clip and some bling. And this is its birthday. And I got birthday stuff. Stickers and stickles. And then you turn around. Oops. Yeah. And then in this side, 
It's music notes. I got a paper red paper clip. I got this little narrow sticky pad in here. And then right here is another pocket. And I got a tag. And then that's it. And then the hardest part is to always remember how it closes. So that's usually, like I said, this is my first one. I want to say it's like this. No, like this. This is how. This is my front. That's my front. The butterfly was my front. So it opens like this. Then you see this, and then it opens and opens. That's how. Oh, see? There we go. And this is my front. Then my back is my music. And that's a flip book. Do you have to have a YouTube? No, you do not. You do not have to make videos. If you just watch videos, that's fine. Like Patricia, you don't do videos. You must have a YouTube channel because your name's up here. You just don't do videos is what you're saying, right? Like, yeah, you're fine to go. As long as your name is on there, like, if I click your name right now, and I go, it'll say go to your channel, and it should be your name. Even if you don't do videos, as long as we can contact you and you can talk, contact me, we're good. Yep. See your pictures there? You have a channel. Even if you don't even do videos, you have a channel. And I'm sub to you, so we're good. Thanks for subbing, everybody. If if you weren't subbed to me, and you just subbed to me, I will catch you when I go through. Sometimes I miss until I go back and look at my comments. Oops. Everybody starts out just as a watcher. <laughs> and then we move on to videos. Hi, Michelle. This started out being a pocket letter. Let's make a pocket letter. And look where I am. I'm still discussing flip books and sucking at the pocket letter. Yeah. And I was working on my pocket letter for starting over. Tina, who's on here today. Thanks, Tina, for tuning in. And I'm not liking it. Been watching for five years. Dawn is a painter. Dawn paints awesome. <laughs> yeah, I've had days like that where I get on and I can't. I, I don't do anything. Ah, uh, yeah, Alley Cat. Allie's good at doing pocket letters. <laughs> she loves doing pocket letters. Nana, can I do a pocket letter? I'm like, who do you want to send it to? Oh, I don't know. I just want to do a pocket letter. So, that's why I'm thinking less challenges, more swaps, or happy mail out. Some of you may randomly get a pocket letter from Allie. That's it. <laughs> no. Plus, it's like, I, I love everything you guys send me, but I'm like, where am I going to put it all? You know? I have a drawer full, wonderful, beautiful flip books from everybody that sent me flip books. And so instead of having a flip book challenge, where everybody sends a flip book in to, for a challenge, I thought, swap! Because I'm only one, you get one, I get one. So... I don't know if I would, um, if I'm going to have any challenges anytime soon, because I don't know what, I'm running out of challenge ideas. What type of challenge should I have? I don't know. So I thought I'll have a challenge maybe every three months to every six months I'll do a challenge, but I'm going to do a swap once a month. Yep. Call challenge, yeah. Hey, I'm running out of wall space. 
my call, sp my call space in my craft room is getting really tight. <laughs> And now I'm going to go absolutely tear my room up for my other paper that's donuts. Is Kathy on here? No, I haven't seen her say hello to me. She may be listening. Hello, you lady. Hi. Ooh. That's an interesting one. You yeah, lady. Thank you very much for the friend mail. Ten signatures for junk. So they just do the picture pages. They'd send ten pages. They wouldn't have to do them. I don't know what you mean, lady. You're the junk journal woman. <laughs> I know. There's a lot of Tinas on here. We have three Tinas. So we have Happy Tina. We have Starting Tina. And we have Tina A. So be more Pacific. We should start a channel. We should start a band. The Three Tinas. <laughs> and if Crafty Bean comes on here, she's a Tina. <laughs> but I'm the only Tina Louise. I bet she, the other Tinas are Tina Marie's. Because I've only met one other Tina Louise. And I don't remember if it was Crafty Bean Tina or the other Tina. Because I can't think of the other Tina's name. There's Crafty Bean Tina. And, um, oh, you're a Tina Marie? See, I'm a Tina Louise. Kathy's birthday? Yeah. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. So they decorate 10 pages for a junk journal, and then they just send the pages, and then you would put it in the journal itself. Oh, that's a creative idea. Well, I already got you May's challenge. May's challenge, everybody. Get a paintbrush. May's swap's going to be out through paintbrushes. So when I do, or actually May's swap, technically, will be the flipbook. But the next swap after the flipbook is going to be altered paintbrushes. So this would be June's swap. So when you're all in about find a good deal pick up a paintbrush because this will be June swap and if you're wondering what do you mean what I mean is I signed for the flip book the April 30th that's May swap has be out and then June swap I will do the swap or sign up in May for a paintbrush send out in June so we're basically a month ahead so the next one will be alter paintbrushes so, keep your eye out on good outdoor paintbrushes. As long as it's this size or bigger, we're good to go. That, <laughs> so that'll be June's. Yep, that will be June's. So May I'll be putting up for the paintbrushes. I asked if everybody wanted to do it earlier and nobody's they're like no June's will be altered paintbrush yep see altered paintbrush I did not do this crafty lady did it's just a painter's paintbrush no this will be put up in in the May so I'm just giving you guys heads up to get paintbrushes Unless you guys want to do it early. I had some people say, wait. Uh, this one across is three inches across by eight inches long. I know it fits in this size envelope. It's a ship. No, I didn't do this. Crafty lady did. Didn't you do a beautiful job? The only reason I thought of this, it fell off my wall today. 
And I put it back up and I'm like, think it of swaps to do. Jackie wants to see my pocket ladder. My pocket ladder. I don't like it. Yeah, I've never done one either. Hi, Tammy. I'm redoing it. I'm up against one of the best talented crafters I know. I mean, we're all good crafters. But I tell you, t when you get starting over, Tina, your level goes from well here to here. <laughs> Hi, Tina Louise is there. <laughs> she is so good. <laughs> so... She thinks totally outside the box. Tina is one of these. I love watching her videos. <laughs> no. Don't. No. You're just very good. You know what? I should have challenged you when I got your name, Tina, to I want a steampunk donut themed pocket letter. <laughs> but if you guys go watch Tina's videos, she, she is the steampunk queen. I tell ya. I never knew what steampunk was until I started watching Starting Over Tina. And I tell you, Leah, my granddaughter, Sosa Leah, loves it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But I could see Tina coming up with it. But. Leah will be like, did Tina put anything else up? And I'm like, subscribe. But I'm, I'm like, I'm going to. So she'll sit here and she'll watch Tina and I'll see if Tina does anything steampunk because Leah likes steampunk. And Boho. She was that gr gal, the steampunk gal. What is steampunk? Okay. I will get the most recent thing that Tina made me because it's handy. Oh. Uh, it's gears. Tina, explain it. While I get your project, your banner down. If I can get it down. I have to go on a different angle. This is Tina's banner. This is steampunk. It's gears, metal, the scale. Rustic looking. <coughs> yep. I had to cut it, Tina, so I could hang it up. I couldn't get it hung up, so I just trimmed it so I could hang it up. But that is that. So I had to trim it so I could cut it up so I could hang it up. But that is steampunk. And Leah, my Tina is really good at steampunk. I have, I'm trying to think. I wish I knew exactly what binder it is. Um, oh, I see it. I'll get it. These are some pocket letters. I wish for a Lord of the Rings pocket letter. Look at guys. Tina did this. But look at this book. This is what impresses me. I, look at this book she made. It's just awesome. And she's got little pictures of all the Lord of the Rings guys in there. All the characters. Yeah, I love Lord of the Rings. One of my favorite tri tri trilogies. And then, she also did Diamond. I got these all by themselves in a folder. The Harry Potter. Yeah. 
in the same in the books the same way. I just the book just kills me. I love the book. Look at the back. Tina is very talented. That's what I said. Oh, you did a Walking Dead for once. Some. That's what I said. I'm up to. T I'm not starting over. Tina. I was like, oh no, because Tina is so good at. <laughs> She's awesome. I just love getting stuff from them. So, I was like, oh, my pocket letter sucks. <laughs> Tina, Tina does awesome work. We all do awesome work. But t t she's got the niche. I get, I, what's the word? Not that Tina can't do cutesy, because she's done cutesy, but she's got the niche for the dark. <laughs> I don't know. Like the steampunk to me is not cutesy. It's dark. Does that make sense? She, and I mean, t I mean, t yeah, the dark side, lol. Yeah. I've seen her do shabby chic, I've d but the steampunk, she's the steampunk queen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, if you had to describe every crafter you know, what would it be? I mean, how would you describe me? Card maker? Steampunk queen, Andrea, Steve are here. I'd call it a shabby chic lady. Grunge, yeah. Everybody's got their niche. You're working on watching. Yeah. See, Michelle's right now is in the steampunk. I'm into this mixed media. I'm loving it. Hey, Michelle, did you find the Tim Holtz gears that were on clearance at Hobby Lobby? That you could, it's the, the die. Yeah, I'm loving it. Oh, I should show you my art journal. I'll show you my art journal I did. No. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was called. Or who made it, if it was Tim Holtz or just Sizzix. So, I had this book by Heidi Swap. I won it. And I uh, wanted to do something with it. So I sat here yesterday. And I... I'm going to just show you the back page. They had this... Um, like journal date I put paper here and I put paper here because you could put a photo here and I didn't want that yeah I thought of that too so the last night I did my first art journaling and I did light it up blue for autism this is my first page and I took puzzle pieces and I painted, painted them all blue and when you flip it open, I dot, light it up blue, and then this thing that says autism, awkward, funny, caring, unique, different words. And that's my first thing in my art journal. And each page folds out. There's this section and that section. So that's going to be my new art journal. And I dated it April 2nd. Where, hey, where did you find the large? All I did, they're not that large. It's just one of these kids' puzzles. Yeah. I do got a larger one. Yeah. Walmart has these little bags in their toy, in their toy area. Yes, I did. I know she loved it. I was on Skype with her right after she received it. I got a stack of stuff to put away over here so I don't lose it in the stuff I'm working on. Oops, sorry.
Do you have a printer, Denise? Just go in and go puzzle pieces image and print one on and then there you go. Yeah, just make a design of a puzzle piece. You're good to go. Yep. Hello, my sons. Yeah, exactly. A puzzle piece. Just do a design and call it a puzzle piece. Well, ladies, I've been on here almost two hours. Scott's home, and I gotta go get supper. I know you will. It's just I'm not liking what my creative juices aren't. If I can't picture it in my head right now, I put it away. I got time to get it done. So, you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you on the next video. Did you guys understand the flipbook now? If not, just go flipbook on YouTube. There's a lot of tutorials out there for them. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night, everybody. And bye. <laughs> probably done. I probably will. Maybe tomorrow's live video I'll do one. Or maybe in a week or two. Alrighty. Bye.